Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. Kit comes in 135 scale and it copies G7117 truck with World War II Soviet drivers. So it might be a good base for a diorama build and we have a commercial sample here so it's a kit number 35594. It should be already available and it means that you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review you can notice that box art is quite nice here so it's just a matter of opening this box and checking together what is included here in this package but first of all let me show you that box size is typical for truck kits from this brand here on the side you can see also some uh, short information about this kit we have a note that there are 285 parts which should assemble into a vehicle be the length of 167 millimeters and on the opposite side you can see two marking options which are supplied here I guess that should be okay and nobody stops you from searching for some aftermarket version which you would like to copy on your model now as oh, just like with any other recent ICM kit you can see here we have seals from a tape so in case these seals are broken or let's say cut off it means that somebody opened the box before you and it's a good let's say thing to ask seller why it was opened before you and check all the parts whether they are present in the box but you can see that my seals are intact so that's why we are going to cut them one by one and check what is actually supplied here so box design is standard for ICM we have a cover printed top section uh, actually it's a top cover it's just a bit of a tight fitment that's why it took off the table so as you can see it's flexible it doesn't provide any protection at all and next we continue with the sturdy white cardboard box so let's open it and here is what we have inside so we have separate frame with the driver parts and we also have a separate plastic bag with the truck parts First we are going to start with the figures and this is a resealable plastic bag that's really good that ICM continues using such thing because it's easier to store parts in a resealable plastic bags and it's a quite a handy thing in our modeling hobby let's say. So let's zoom in as much as we can maybe open the lenses a bit so that you will see more and here you can see that these parts they are molded or designed as a typical 135 scale figures so that's why there is nothing special in a good sense and of course all poses are predefined so you won't be able to change what and there are no guiding elements whatsoever so be careful while aligning all these parts together it will be important to get the right fitment of these parts maybe also align them with the front cap parts so that they will look natural once placed in the truck now i'm taking the plastic bag with the truck parts. I'm going to open it right now and we will take a closer look together at all truck parts which are supplied here. And I can see that here we have even parts for the uh, covered rear section which is quite handy thing for modelers who don't want to place anything inside on the rear bed let's say. So we are going actually to start with this part so I will place the sticker a bit to the side here it is and you can see that whole let's say this uh, tarp cover um, it should be assembled out of several uh, panels and you have to be careful while joining them because obviously you have to get a smooth joint between these parts otherwise it will look unreal and that's why you have to pay attention because you can see that front and rear sections are molded separately from the roof and the same can be said about these side parts <laughs> but they look more or less natural in my opinion so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and you have a nice result here by the way you can see them from the inside and here things get a bit more interesting i guess these are guiding elements for the internal inserts but here we have some push rod marks so you will have to mask them somehow in case you plan to show all the stuff inside but from the other side it shouldn't be visible on the finished model so it's up to you whether you would like to do so next we continue with these two identical plastic sprues so they are dedicated to the drivetrain and parts for the rear bed so here you can see the special brackets which will hold tarpaulin as well as the plastic wheels 
So plastic wheels is really good thing because it will give you a quite nice result and it will be easier to work than uh, vinyl parts. I know that some others really like vinyl parts because they are more like, uh, let's say, real rubber, but these plastic parts are easier to paint and get the right uh, color and maybe weathering on them so that's why I prefer the plastic not the vinyl tires and here inside you can see that design is made in such way so that it will be easier to paint them without using any masks and of course we have guiding elements which will help you with alignment of these circles together so it's just a matter of let's say sending the uh, tire pattern carefully in order to get a weathered look and you'll be good to go Next we continue with a slightly bigger plastic frame, so this one is dedicated to a mix of parts because here we have uh, these large bars for the main chassis as well as this main plate for the rear bed. We also have leaf springs, some parts for the front cap, for example the steering wheel. And everything looks nice, I mean if I zoom in you can see that even the tiniest elements are molded carefully, we do not have any flash on them, so it's just a matter of careful separation of them off the sprue and it will be good to go. Note that these wooden panels are plain on surface and as I said in the previous reviews and some of them, uh, some of you wrote in the comments in some cases these panels have a wooden texture, in some cases they do not. So it's up to you whether you would like to replicate such thing. Maybe you can do it with uh, some painting technique in order to, let's say, specify that it's a wooden port. Or maybe you would like to completely skip it, paint it with uh, one paint of layer, layer of paint and you'll be good to go. It's up to you, of course, it's your model, your build. And as long as you are having fun building or painting such stuff, uh, you are good to go in my opinion. Here we continue with the front cap parts. So overall design is something what we can expect from such things. So we get separate panels which will have to be aligned together. Note that we have separate bonnet and doors. And also we have engine parts, so it means you can open the bonnet and show what is hidden inside. That's a really handy thing if you would like to depict, for example, the repairs on the road. Then you have to open the bonnet and it won't be emptiness inside because we have an engine inside. And of course if I flip it over, here you can see that we have some push marks on the rear wall, for example, also on the bonnet. So you have to carefully send it in order to get more or less attractive finish, otherwise it would look strange to have these circles inside the parts. Next we continue with the last grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to various minor elements. So here we have a lot of stuff for the engine and suspension. Again these parts are quite thin and tender. I mean here you can see comparison with my fingertip and this is a 135 scale kit so you have to be careful while joining all this stuff together. Obviously it is better to have a special tools for all this stuff because otherwise it will be quite a tricky thing to get into the right place. But again most Molding quality looks quite nice, I don't see any possible flash or molding damage here and you can see it with your own eyes, so it's just a matter of careful assembly as usual. Next we continue with a clear sprue, it comes in the separate plastic bag, so I'm going to open it as well. And of course it's a resealable plastic bag as well. So here we have glasses for the front cap. And I would say that molding quality is quite nice. As far as I remember, ICM included masking templates in the previous releases. So I hope this one is not an exclusion from this rule. Because these masking templates are actually quite handy in assembly and painting process. And that's why I'm glad actually that they include such feature in their kits. So, with the decals sheet, it is hidden in assembly manual and you can see that printing quality is quite nice. We even have some dial decals for the um, interior, so it might be handy for some fine features in the uh, front cap. And next we continue with assembly manual, so let's zoom out a bit. Maybe close the lenses as much as we can, because otherwise you will be blinded by this white light. And here we have parts map. So as usual red color means that these parts will not be used. As you can see quite a few will stay on their spruce. And the separate insert is given for uh, Soviet drivers. 
So it was also released as a separate kit, here you can see the marking guide and of course both guys can be placed at the steering wheel so it might be handy for your diorama project or maybe just to show the overall scale of this truck because usually it is uh, I would say better perceived when there is a comparison with some figurine. Next we start assembly with the main chassis so as you can see it's a matter of combining these bars together then here we work on the front winch as far as I can understand and then we proceed to work on the suspension parts so it's quite interesting that a lot of stuff under the track will be also detailed and copied on this model even though it is I mean to be honest it will be barely visible on the finished model so that's why you have to think through how to expose it because it's a shame to hide all these features in the model the same can be said about the engine I mean it is nicely detailed even out of the box but you can add some wire rings and it will be even more impressive next we start working on the wheel axles so nothing difficult here just be sure to align them properly so that it won't be let's say misaligned between each wheel and next we start working on the exhaust tubes leg rests or let's say steps for the front cap and then I actually start working on the front cap here as you remember you have to combine separate panels together it's not a difficult thing to do it's more of a let's say tricky thing to do because you have to pay attention to the alignment of these panels and you can see that sequence is kind of unusual because you have to assemble the front and floor first then you add the rear wall and only then you start adding the roof and also doors so quite an interesting and stuff but I think it's doable if you have some previous experience with such things next we continue with the front radiator and we start installing the bonnet panels into the place as well as the wheel fenders and this front uh, guard or front grille next is the bonnet and note that manufacturer does not mention the possibility to open the bonnet so in case you would like to copy this thing you will have to think through how to depict it more or less uh, realistic way so that's why I recommend to find some reference photos because otherwise it will be a bit tricky next we work on the rear bed so as you can see it's also a matter of combining all these panels together as i said before it's a good idea to play with some weathering here because obviously this section is usually scratched and weathered and it would look strange to see the completely new paint work on this area next we work on wheels as you remember rear axle feature is double wheel set and then we proceed with this large side walls for the rear bed that's the first marking option or assembly option as far as you can see and we can also build it with retracted or closed benches and then you have to decide whether you would like to assemble the truck with open rear version or with the closed one and next there is also assembly option for the windscreen as you can see here so you can build it in the open position and here it is quite interesting that also this open version will require some additional parts but note that this kit does not feature any mask templates for the clear parts this is quite interesting because if I'm not wrong previous release actually featured mask templates but here we have marking guide for the first marking option and here is the second marking option as I said before you can also find some reference materials for additional markings if you prefer to have something different from out of the box versions so this kit should be already available and of course you can get it on Madenimex webshop of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye